today, we get free paint from spray cans we found in the trash. And I get a green finger. For a future project, I have been collecting spray cans that I found in the trash, and since they now take too much space, I will start processing them. The first step will be to recover the remains of paint they contain, because even when thrown away, spray cans are often not empty. You see me here emptying the gas contained in the spray cans. I do this outside since gases can be toxic. Make sure to hold the spray can horizontal, as it minimizes the amount of paint splatters when the gas escapes. Now the gas is out, let's move back inside for step 2, getting the free paint. For this part, you will need containers to store the paint. I like to use glass pots. You will need also plastic wrap and your all or punching device. Pierce a hole at the bottom of the spray can and empty it in your container. Bingo! Completely free black paint, since I got all the spray canned from the trash. Let's repeat the same process with the rest of the black cans and see what we get. A quarter of a pot of free paint that can be used for other projects, not bad for a start. Let's check out the blue spray cans using the same method. Since I have collected different shades of blue, I just do not want to mix all the blue paint in one pot. The plan here is to collect all the darker tones in one pot and all the lighter tones in another. And there also, we have a dingo free blue paint this time. For the rest of the spray cans, I will group and process the paint cans by colors, yellow, green, white, red, purple, orange, gray, pink and chrome. You never know in advance how much paint you will get. Some spray cans just give a few drops, some nothing at all and some are a little too emotional to be on camera. I got it on film! <laughs> I got that on film! The result, not an amazing yield of course, but still, we have added 12 extra colors of paint to our paint collection that we can use in future projects. And the best of all, it was all for free.